Hi, Pop Stop TV. This is Emmanuel Shriki, and you're at the premiere of Cleaners. Now, you've been juggling with so much. You know, you were not only acting in it, you were also the executive producer. Yeah. What was it like juggling the two? Uh, it was exhilarating. It was many things, mostly when we were putting it together, because, you know, it happened really quickly. So it was kind of like, all right, producer hat on. Okay, producer hat off and actor hat on. Like, start to train, start to do this. And then, you know, but it was all, it was, it was amazing. It was right. a great learning curve. And um, I'm really excited about it. And of course, as you know, there were so many stunts in the show, you know, especially that crazy scene that we saw with, uh, with David. So yeah. how did you, what, what was the training like? We did some pretty intense um, martial arts training and uh, gun training and knife training, everything training. Um, every single day? Every day. I mean, as much as we could. It was, it was very intense. It was very compact. <laughs> but I, I, it was great. You know, we felt comfortable. We had the most amazing stunt coordinators, so we felt super, super safe. And you also said that you were injured during the training ones. How did that happen? Yeah, that was really unfortunate. I have a recurring injury in my right shoulder. I've dislocated it twice. And I dislocated it a third time um, while knife training. And, I, and it was like three days before starting filming. And I was like, no. Because I have been... You know, training, eating a certain way, like really wanting to be in like tip-top shape. And I was like, no, God, how is this happening? But it's okay because I have the world's greatest stunt double. And she honestly looks like my twin. So she made me look pretty fierce. <laughs> yeah, you totally fooled us in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I have to ask you, for all the Entourage fans out there, what's the status of the movie? I don't know. I wish I could tell you more. I don't know. Well, Mark Wahlberg told us that, you know, he has a script ready. Would you be on board? Are you, would you? 100%. Would you? Yeah. Oh my God, I would love to. I'm in. <laughs> Just waiting. I, I keep hearing like, oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. It's been like three or four times. Yeah. So now I'm like, it happens when it happens. Right. <laughs> and we also loved following you on Twitter. We see that you're a huge Ray Donovan fan. Would you love to guest star on the show by any chance? Yes. <laughs> Yes, let it be known. <laughs> yes. It's my new obsession. It was Dexter. Dexter's over now. I was like, God, oh, what am I going to watch? And I watched the pilot of Ray Donovan and I was blown away. I'll listen to anything yeah. she says. She's <laughs> out of her mind. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now go back to your interview. <laughs> and we have to ask you all your fans want to know what is your type? What kind of guys do you usually go for? It's my type. I would say tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Any celeb you can point out? Uh, not really. It's not really. Okay. No, no. We're, we're asking everyone on the red carpet today, what does the fox say? <laughs> oh my god. You know what we're talking about? Yes. Can I, you know what? I'm just going to not comment. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe that song. I, I'm, I was, hi, I was, um, I mean, listen, I'm so happy for their success. Everybody deserves it. When I heard it, I was like, no, no, is this for real? And of course it's going to be a sensation. <laughs> for more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.